Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League? And learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's up everybody, Chaos here, and yes, I'm so excited to bring you guys this video today that I didn't even do my hair. Now, but in all seriousness, man, no long intro today. Just make sure you guys smack that like button for me to get you guys this stuff so quick. And I'm going to bring you guys all the information that you need for the MCS and how to compete this year in Madden 20. Very quickly though, guys, I do want to just ask you guys to make sure you guys check the link in the description below for HotRot.Tips. If you guys are looking to compete this year and you guys are looking to be one of the best Madden players in the world and make some money, make sure you guys check out HotRot.Tips. I have my scheme coming there very soon as well as several other pros. Now let's get into the video. No more dilly-dallying. All right, guys, here we go. So this is the website. I'll put this link in the description below and let's get started. So this is the link that it's going to take you to. It's going to talk about the Madden Classic online qualifiers. I'm guessing this this is just like ways to get you to pay to get out there. It's a small prize pool, a thousand dollars. Takes you all the way down. There's a few of them. You see one, two, three, four of them. I looked through this a little bit, but I'm I haven't looked through all of it. I want to get you guys this as quick as possible, but I understand basically the the kind of gist of it. Once you go here, let's just click one more. These are all connected. So the Madden Classic, just like last year, it's a live event, open, anyone can go. And it's a similar prize pool, 165K. So it's August 30th through September 1st. It's not too far away, guys. Only about a month away. It's very soon into the season. And here's how it is. So Thursday, you'll have to be there. It's Labor Day weekend, so it should be a long weekend. Not sure why they didn't take it through Monday so people didn't have to miss work, but that's not my decision. Uh, so check in. Check in and turn them in play. So you might not have to check in this day since there's a check in here. I don't know. Not a question for me. That's a question for other people. Then there'll be tournament play, tournament play, tournament play. So three days of playing. Now here's how you register. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, but this is what you're going to need to click. And real quick, we'll go over this. So 35K to first, and it pays all the way down to 256. So if you get this spot, you don't make anything. But every other spot, you get paid. So if you think you're good enough to get in the top 256, it's $500 that'll basically pay your way for the most part. So if you're good enough, I honestly think it's worth it just because you'll basically make your money back or close to it with a chance to make a lot more down in the, in the higher areas. So definitely a cool thing. Now let's take you through the registration. I've already registered for it, so it's not going to be the same for me. But here's what it's going to say. If you don't have Mutt Rewards, you have to do this. You have to sign up for Mutt Rewards. It basically just has you put in an email and uh, link your gamer tag to it or your PSN, whichever one you're on. So it has you do that. And then um, right here, it's not going to say register for the classic for you guys if you don't have a Mutt Rewards account and you're not logged in. If you have a Mutt Rewards account, it's going to say log in right here. You're going to click it and it'll either have you log in or if you're logged in like in a different part of the browser or something like that, you've already had like your password and username saved. It'll just take you right back to the same page and then it's going to say register for the classic right here. So you can do that. And I've already done it. So I have to like confirm my email but that's all you have to do for that I'm not sure how to go back here okay that's great <laughs> let me go back my bad boys just kind of trying to figure this out okay so we're back let me f11 it not editing this man i'm giving you guys straight forward i want this video out 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 i want you guys to be able to have it so next choose your team I haven't done this yet so club championship so we go through the madden classic that's how you register you're going to need 50 dollars for the madden classic just a holding fee i believe they give it back to you when you get there it's a free walk-in tournament to to play in however you have to sign in on sign up online and you have to put 50 dollars down because last year they had trouble with people just signing up for no reason and over half the people didn't come because they didn't have to put any money down i'll sign up and if i don't go whatever nothing lost so now you have to put 50 dollars down not a lot of money, just a little bit to make sure you guys don't sign up if you don't think you're going to go, and then they'll give it back to you. So next is the club championship. I'm not going to choose my team yet. I'm not sure, but it lets you choose any team. Every team's back again. The NFL is doing a great job of staying, staying a participant in this, kind of helping out with the MCS and all that, and then you're going to join and register. Once you do that, you can't switch. So don't just go sign up for a team. That's why I'm not doing it yet. Don't just go sign up for some random team and hit join. And then you're like, oh man, I wish I would have done a different team. Just wait for all the options. Registration doesn't close till October. Okay. You have plenty of time. Just hold off on doing it. It'll be the right thing to do. Trust me. 
So next, uh, next thing here, let's go back to the events calendar. This is all the MCF info you need. So you're going to have these online events for the online classic. I believe those are just practice regs tournaments to help you pay your way out there if you happen to win one. But the main tournament, you don't have to plan those to be in the main tournament. You can just come here to register and it is open. Like I said, the $50 you will get back. And let's go back to all events here. And then you have the club championship ladder. Like I said, it's not like before. It says the ladder opens on July, 30, uh, July 30th, but I don't believe that's true because it said on the other page that it didn't open until October 7th. So I'm not 100% sure if that's right. They have two different dates here. Not sure which one to believe. I don't know, I don't know. It says online ladders open right here, but on the other one, it said that they opened on the other one. So I would trust this one probably. This one's the official page for clubs. That other page, I guess don't worry about it. But here's the info that you need. It's online ladders, uh, July 30th. So that's gonna be salary cap as always. Kind of sucks that you have to start playing July 30th when, when the fact is on uh, in September we're playing regs. So like you don't want to get used to both. So honestly, if you're gonna go to the regs tournament, I, you might want to just sit back and wait on these ladders because you usually have time to grind it. But I'm not sure how they're doing the ladder, ladder rankings this year. It's gonna be tough to calculate, man. But it's it's obviously the biggest prize pool again of the year, hundred thousand to the winner. So that's pretty cool. Clubs was the biggest last year and it's the hardest tournament to win. So it makes sense that it would be the highest prize pool. But as far as the overall, um, as far as the overall prize pool, it seems to be about the same, about 1.1 million. And uh, that's not much more than last year. So you have the 190,000 classic, you have the 703,000 club championship, 190,000 Madden 20 challenge, 220,000 Madden bowl, which is the final one that qualify and they have the LCQ again. So what you're doing is these three tournaments all add up points to get to the Madden Bowl. If you can do well enough in these, you'll make it here. But these are your three majors where you have to do well. If you don't do well in like two of them, you're gonna struggle to make it unless you do like a really good run in one of them. So consistency is key in these three tournaments. And then obviously the last chance qualifier. And that's all they have on there right now. It doesn't look like they have any like side events, no, no uh, like Madden challenges, anything like that. So similar structure to last year, pretty much no different it seems like. Uh, Mudhead's gonna be doing some stuff, but hope I answered all you guys' questions, man. If you guys have any questions for me that I did not answer, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you guys drop a like for me just for getting you guys this content so quick. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys have great luck in this Madden season, and I hope I have a little bit of luck too, man. But for now, that's it. Take it easy, man. I love y'all. Peace.